Justin. Oh, happy homebrew Wednesday. It's Tuesday. I'm shooting this, but with the way my schedule works, I gotta do it a day ahead. Blah blah blah. Anyways, a lot of stuff's going on. I'm hoping everybody's enjoying their uh, New Year's. I hope everybody had a safe time last night. Um. Anyways, a lot of stuff's been happening the past week, and this is whiskey, by the way. Um, start out, I want to send out a couple shout outs, um, let's see, we got Tiny, he's over, uh, his screen name on YouTube is, uh, Off Tap Brewing, that's his name, um, uh, shoot him a, give, check him out, give him a subscribe, he's over in Australia, great guy, uh, I've had the benefit of actually talking to him a few times, we've chatted a few times on Facebook, uh, Sorry to hear about your free freezer there, Tiny. Uh, sucks, but on the bright side, you get to go get a brand new fresh one with a warranty. Um, he's got a Facebook page. Uh, Y'all should go check out. It's OT Brewing. So uh, just type that in your Facebook, search it, and it'll come up as a page. Um, check him out. Another guy I want to send a shout out to is uh, Alan. His screen name on here is. Uh, Chubby Glutton Brew. Glutton spelled G U or sorry G L U T T E N. So Chubby Glutton Brew. Check out one out. Um, he's got some good stuff. He just did a yeast experiment. Actually, he's trying um, Nottingham L yeast US 04, US 05, and he's seeing how they work and what works better and how the difference in all them is. Uh, it's a cool video. Check it out. I think he did it last week. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. So. Alright, another thing, uh, there's a new guy that I actually found, he found me, um, I seen him through Glenn with, uh, I can't think of Glenn's name, Homebrew Beer or something like that, um, anyways, he sent this guy some beer, his, uh, screen name is Benny Big Potatoes, just how it sounds, B-E-N-N-Y, Big Potatoes, um, Anyways, he had a question. He was asking about stouts and porters and what the difference is. Um, I told him I was going to have an answer for him on this video. And I'm sorry, man, but I just, I've, I've been a, going through a lot of stuff. Um, pretty much from what I understood, I didn't get to research it a lot, but from, it was, everything was originally porters. Sorry, I'm digging on my damn note. Everything was originally porters. And then, they started calling them porter stouts and they were darker, higher ABV beers and then they just started calling them stouts. And anyways, um, this is one topic I, I would like for all y'all on this video to uh, give your two cents on what's the difference between a porter and a uh, stout. What do y'all think it is or what do y'all know it is? Um, anyways, moving on. Uh, Christmas I got um, three kits they're just the uh, Brewer's Best Kits. I got a uh, American Pell Ale and an English Pell Ale and a um, American Amber. Um, I've already brewed two of them. Um, the American Amber, I think my original gravity was 1046. I'm going to show you all a, a video of that. And also my English Pell Ale, uh, the original gravity of it was... 1056 and that's going to be a lot better of beer. Uh, it's set on primary for five days, four or five days. I don't know. As soon as uh, airlock stopped moving, I put it on an ounce of uh, Cascade hops, leaf hops, and secondary. And that's actually going to be bottled Saturday. I don't know if I'll shoot a video of it. I may just do a little brief update for y'all when we do that. Um, so yeah, um, I brewed two kits. I did one Tuesday. Christmas night, that was a blast. Finished up awesome day with my wife and my son. Of course, y'all seen that in my video from last week. Uh, I got to brew with them. That was a blast. And then Friday, I brewed that American Amber, and I got to do that with my other son, Andy. He's eight. He had a blast. Uh, he was tickled to death. He got to try beer. Uh, he just got to try the wart before we uh, added the pitch the yeast. Um, so that's about it that's going on around here. Um... I've been researching um, 
electric breweries. And I think over the next year, I'm actually going to start working on one, uh, welding my stand and getting all that and going to all that. Um, and what's to come, uh, me and Mike, Near Beer One, we're going to be getting together in the next week, week and a half. We're going to be doing a flying cone, the flying dog gonzo clone. Um, it's a porter. Uh, I think we got about a 33 pound grain bill and uh, I don't remember how many ounces of hops, but it's crazy. It's a 10 gallon batch. We're going to brew it and split it. Um, little things like 10.6% ABV. Um, I'll, I'll actually um, show a little picture, a little bit of the grain bill on that. Um, so we're going to be doing that. I'm going to hopefully we're going to be able to shoot a little video with that. Um, so. Anyways, guys, um, thanks to all of my subscribers and that, everybody out there. Um, Y'all have been great. I love, I love this community. So, anyways, guys, uh, we're going to clip to a couple videos real quick. I'm going to show you the few brews I did, and it's uh, about all. So, uh, cheers. Y'all have a great week. Um, enjoy the new year. May we uh, brew great beer this year, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to the future of what's to come for me and all of y'all, and uh, can't wait to see all y'all's videos today. I look forward to everybody's homebrew videos. So, cheers, and uh, let's get back to some videos. Alright guys, <clears throat> here's the English Pale Ale. Uh, I put this on its dry hops Saturday. So, this Saturday I'm going to bottle it. Still got a little trub down there. Uh, but, the airlock's finally done, and, well, it's been done. But, dry hop, or the hops have actually done pretty good about absorbing the beer, so, should come out to be a pretty good beer. So, let's go over and check out the American Amber now. Alright guys, this is, uh, of course you can't see shit because it's in my pail bucket, plastic fermenting bucket, but this is my amber ale that I brewed uh, this past Friday. Actually, I got to brew with my son on the, uh, as you can see, on the 28th, so that's coming along great. Fermentation's done, it's been done for a day or so. I don't... I don't really know how long I'm going to let this sit. I thought about letting it sit, you know, this Friday will be a week. I thought about letting it sit for two weeks or so. This is just going to be a nice session beer. That's all I'm trying to do. It's, you know, the original gravity is only 1048, so it's not going to be too strong of a beer. But, y'all give me y'all's input on how long you think I should let this one sit. And, uh, I'm not going to rack it in secondary, so. Anyways. Thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and have a good week. Cheers.